Bill 306, Councilwoman Gilmore, and for those of you choosing not to stick around, I could ask if you could just please keep quiet as we're moving on to their second public hearing. Councilwoman Gilmore, would you please put Council Bill 306, 306 on the floor for final consideration and do pass. Happy to do so, Mr. President. I move that Council Bill 306 be placed upon final consideration and do pass. It has been moved. Council, I need a second on the screen. It has been moved and seconded. We're going to have to wait for transition for those giving the staff report to come on up to the front. And if they could, Mr. Delaney, I'm not sure who's giving the staff report, but here he's, he's coming. He's coming. Uh oh. Hey, Herndon, make an announcement on the forum. Make sure we have yeah. forum. And colleagues, remember we have to have seven on the dais to move forward. So I want to make sure we keep seven up here on the dais for this. All right, we're, we're still good with seven. We're still good. All right. The public hearing for Council Bill 30, one hour courtesy public hearing for Council Bill 306 is now open. May we have the staff report? And Mr. Delaney, are you starting staff report? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. President. Members of Council, um, we're here um, to proposing um, your Bill 306, which is to raise the sanitary and storm um, sewer rates within the uh, wastewater enterprise fund um, here within the Department of Public Works. The wastewater enterprise fund is a government owned utility. It's made up of storm uh, sewers as sanitary sewers. Storm uh, handles the water that falls from the sky, the irrigation water, runoff, that sort of thing. Sanitary handles the water that comes out of our homes from our dishwashers, our showers, etc. Um, storm billing is based on impervious surfaces within your property and is billed annually. Sanitary is based upon your water consumption in February and it's billed monthly on the bottom of your uh, Denver water bill. The storm system has about 750 linear miles of sewer and is about 40 years old on average. The sanitary system is twice as large, nearly 1,500 miles, and is 60 years old. We do not treat our own sanitary uh, sewage. Uh, we, it's treated by the Metropolitan Reclamation District, which is a special district that treats the sewage for 60 municipalities and, and counties within the uh, metropolitan area. Why, do we need, uh, why are we asking for a rate increase? <clears throat> First of all, to protect people and property from, uh, who are currently living in hazardous flooding areas. Second of all, to maintain and replace aging infrastructure. Third of all, to improve water quality and the, the water that we discharge into the Platte River. And fourth, to keep up with the service demands in a city that is growing by almost 1,500 people a month. Storm uh, rates are driven primarily by two things, construction, where we want to go from an average annual investment of $20 million to $30 million a year under the next, for the next five years, and water quality, uh, which would be uh, spending over $20 million on water quality over the next five years. The sanitary system is driven primarily by paying for the treatment of our sewage by the reclamation district, and that rate is um, um, uh, going at, up at the rate of about 8% per year. The other driver of sanitary is the um, um, uh, construction. We want to go from two and a half million a year investment in the infrastructure to eight million, and that will do two things. It will both um, replace and repair our current system, but it was also building additional uh, adequacy or additional service adequacy into our system because we have many areas that are growing that don't have adequate sanitary sewer uh, lines. The rate increases we're asking for uh, for storm starting in July of 7, 2016 is uh, 11%, then 11% 11 in 17, 11% in 18, 10% in 19, 10% in 20. That's an average of 10.6% rate increase per year over the next five years. 6.4% of that will go to construction, 4.2% of that will go to operating costs. Sanitary, we're asking for 5% in 2016, 5% in 17, 4% in 18, 4% in 19, 4% in 20, which for a total average incre annual increase in sanitary of 4.4%, half for construction, half for treatment. This will be cost the average rate payer within the city and county of Denver $23 per year for both increase for both sanitary and storm, a little less than $2 a month. 
The combined bill will go from uh, $320 uh, per, per um, year in 2015 to $426, an increase of, of uh, $116 from 2016 to 2020 in terms of the rate. Um, we have uh, staff here tonight uh, who are here to answer your questions, um, and we will be, we'll wait till you get to that portion of the, uh, of the meeting tonight. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Delaney. So we